In this video, we'll be looking at some basic integration rules. Our first rule that we looked at in a previous video is when you integrate x to the n power with respect to x, you'll increase your exponent by 1 and then divide by the new exponent and add your constant. Note, n cannot equal negative 1. Put comments over here on the right. Um, this is the inverse of the power rule from differentiation. And we will have another rule to use when n is equal to negative 1. So for any exponent other than negative 1, this is the rule that we use to integrate x to a, a power. Our next rule, when we integrate 0, we get a constant. Recall that when we started out with a function y equal 5, and we differentiate that, we get y prime equals 0. So again, we're just doing the inverse of that. So when we integrate 0, we get a constant. Our next rule, if we integrate uh, some constant k with respect to x, we get k times x plus our constant. And it may help, if you have trouble remembering this, it may help to think of uh, this expression, integral of k times x to the 0. Then that'll help you remember that you increase the exponent by 1 and divide by the new exponent. So when we increase our exponent by 1, we get x to the first power. Divided by 1 is still kx. Our next rule If we integrate some constant multiplied by a function with respect to x, we can, if we want to, take that constant out in front of the integral sign, and it'll be the same as that constant times the integral of f of x with respect to x. And then if we integrate a polynomial with uh, several terms, addition or subtraction, doesn't matter, then when we integrate that polynomial, we can integrate each term individually. And let's look at a few examples. We're asked to integrate 4x to the fifth minus 12x plus 1 dx. Now we can integrate these separately. So let me write that. Integral of 4x to the fifth with respect to x minus the integral of 12x with respect to x and then plus the integral of 1 with respect to x. Now, after a while, you probably won't write this step. You'll probably just go ahead and integrate each of these terms straight from the problem. But uh, let's use our inverse of the power rule on this one. Uh, increase the exponent by 1, so we now have x to the 6th. So we have 4x to the 6th divided by 6 minus, and then on this one, the exponent is 1. So we're going to increase that and make it x squared. So we have 12x squared divided by 2, the new exponent, plus, and then this is the same. If you need to, you can think of this as x to the 0. So we increase that exponent by 1, and it becomes x to the first divided by 1, and then don't forget your arbitrary constant that has to be added on. Now let's simplify this. So 
So we have 2 thirds x to the 6th minus 6 x squared plus x plus a constant. Now we can make use of that integration rule that we looked at right here, uh, which says that when you have uh, some constant k multiplied by a function, you can pull that k out in front. So we could, we could write this as 4 times the integral of x to the fifth minus 12 times the integral of x plus the integral of 1. We get the same answer. Here we'll have 4 multiplied by, and then our exponent gets increased by 1, so x to the 6th divided by 6 minus, and then 12 times. Our exponent is increased from 1 to 2, so x squared divided by 2, and then plus x plus our constant. So you'll see we have the same um, expression that we had over when we did it here in the red. This will give me 2 thirds x to the 6th minus 6x six squared plus x plus our constant. Let's do another one. If we increase our exponent by 1, we now have x to the negative 1. So this is 4x to the negative 1 divided by that new exponent plus our constant. And we can simplify this. It would be a negative 4. x to the negative 1 plus constant. Or we could write negative 4 over x plus a constant. All right, for our next example, we're integrating 7 times the square root of x plus 1 over x squared dx. Let's do a rewrite on this to make it easier to get our exponent and increase it. So this can be rewritten as the integral of 7x to the 1 half and then plus x to the negative 2 and that's with respect to x. Right, now uh, let's integrate each of these separately. I'm not going to put that extra uh, step in where we show the integral on each of them. Let's integrate this first uh, term. So when we increase 1 half plus 1, we get 3 halves. So we have 7x to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves plus. And then when we integrate this term, we increase our exponent by 1 to get x to the negative 1. So we have x to the negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus our constant. Now we just need to simplify this a little bit. To simplify this complex fraction, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2 thirds. So that'll cancel this bottom off here. And when I multiply 2 thirds times 7, I get 14 over 3, x to the 3 halves. And then on this term, I have minus, and x to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over x, and plus my constant. Alright, our next problem, 
Find the general solution of each differential equation and check the result by differentiating. Now what they mean by this general solution is when you have that arbitrary constant C, um, that makes it a general solution. And we will, in a future lesson, talk about getting a more specific solution then. All right, so what we want to do is integrate both sides. So we're integrating dy dx and then integrating 2x to the negative 3 plus 4 with respect to x. So on the left we have y and here when we increase our exponent by 1 it becomes x to the negative 2 so we have 2x to the negative 2 divided by negative 2 and then on this one uh, it's x to the 0 if you wish to think of it that way so increase our exponent by 1 so it's now x to the first so 4x to the first divided by the new exponent plus our constant Let's simplify this. y equals a negative 1 over x squared and then plus 4x plus our constant. Now we can check So our check on this one, we could have, uh, this will be a negative x to the negative 2 plus 4x plus our constant. Um, do the power rule, multiply negative 2 times this negative 1, we get 2x and then decrease our exponent by 1, so it's to the negative 3 power. And then the derivative of 4x is 4, and the derivative of my constant is 0. So 2x to the negative 3 plus 4, and we check. Um, one more problem. Again, we're asked to uh, find the general solution and check by differentiating. So we want to integrate both sides. R. And on the right, and this is with respect to theta, so d theta over here. On the right, um, this is a constant like uh, 5, if you will. But this is, um, we could rewrite this as pi times theta to the 0 power. So um, to integrate that, we increase the exponent by 1. So we have pi theta to the first power divided by 1 plus our constant. So simplifying that, we get r equals pi theta plus our constant. Now I check on that. Um, the derivative of pi theta is just pi. So we have dr d theta equals pi.